You're probably asking yourself, Matt, what's on the agenda today? I have no idea. I'm just outside and I think I'm going to beat something with a hammer. Well, when people say Mother Nature is beautiful, I don't think they've looked at our front entryway. Because as cinematic as this is, wow. It's, it, I, I thought it looked bad in real life, but seeing it on camera really, really nails it. So anyways, this is a whole bunch of stumps we need to remove. We had a whole bunch of bushes. Had. They are gone now. Deep in there is our sewer line. And they started trying to grow in our sewer pipe. So I did the normal thing and I just killed everything in its path. Um, so we're going to fix that today. We're going to need some pretty impressive tools on this scientific exploration, so bear with me. You're going to need a hose, a dem hose actually, but remember, you don't coil it up like a normal human being. You just slam it all in a pile and deal with it the next time. You're going to need some sort of hose sprayer. And that's an expensive version of that. You're going to need to sum, sum the cut limbs with. And there you go. Uh, that one's, uh, that one exists. Then you need a shovel. I choose this one. This is the Hardware House 9001, and it's never let me down, except for those times it's let me down. And if things get really bad, folks, there's a plunger. So you don't want to see if we're going to have to use that plunger. That means things have gone real bad real fast. All right, folks, I realize now that I left out a very important step. You got to take your jeans and shove them in your boots. That way, if any construction workers walk by, they're gonna know that that guy doesn't know what he's doing. But that guy, wow. So as you can see what we're doing here, I blasted away all the dirt so you could see all these little guys. And these little guys need to go, just got out of there. So I've cut some of the big ones and then I'm gonna slam a shovel in there and try to get this whole thing out. So let's see how that goes. you're asking yourself. You're asking yourself, Matt, you jumped up and down 10 to 15 times. Why are you sitting down? Uh, 10 to 15 times jumping up and down is 10 to 15 times more than I would ever jump up and down in my normal life. Uh, you're probably also asking yourself why that plunger was there. And I think it's very clear now that if you don't understand why the plunger is in the hole, you're not going to ever understand why the plunger was there. Uh, I've got to sit down and Reevaluate whether this is what I wanted to do today or not. I should have, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, um, heart can't handle things like that jumping out at me. It's just getting too old. I should have really made an agenda today so I could have not put this on it. I got the other ones out. Oh yeah, this is looking real nice. So now all we got to do is those ugly ones down there. So let's get our plunger and Get those out of there.
taking this out so now that you've got your soil all worked over you got some holes around here so to make this all not like look like this there's probably some tools you could use or you could just kind of wait let mother nature do whatever mother nature does to the dirt I don't know some sort of magic I think I'm just gonna use a shovel and then just beat it let's see how that goes So we hammered down our soil with a shovel. Works perfect, no issues. But now we need to make it so it doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like dirt. We need grass. So logically, I bought the cheapest stuff I could find at Walmart, and then I let it sit in our garage for at least, you know, dose trace three months, so um, it could get you know, aged like a fine cheese, and that should help the growing process get started. So let's put it on the ground. Make sure your grass seed really takes, you gotta throw it in there. Just find a spot and just dig it. Perfect. You wanna get a natural arc to it? Yeah, like that, because it'll grass knows when you're not watering it with rain, and we don't. We gotta trick it, you know. We gotta make sure it doesn't know that it's not being grown properly. Yeah, to get some waves on it. Yeah, just jerk it around a little bit, you know, grass stuff. Oh yeah, it doesn't know what's hitting it. It has no idea. Just take a look at all this. This is like my frontier. You see how it's perfectly smooth and not holding any water anywhere? Like there and there and there and that's perfect. People are gonna remember this mud pit and this time that I spent on this mud pit. They're gonna ask themselves, who was that one guy who did that one thing and made his yard look all muddy and gross? And then the grass seed he put down never sprouted, but he kept pouring electrolytes on it, screaming Brondo. They're gonna remember that, and that's all that matters. So hey, if you like grass seed, I don't know, subscribe or something. If you like stumps, subscribe too. I, they'll pro I, I don't know if there's gonna be more stumps. I, I don't really think so. God, I hope not. Have a good day.